What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and today, well, you know the thumbnail, you saw it. So this is a new body for the uh, DR10. So just kind of showing you the new website, kind of the layout of it. It's gonna constantly keep changing anyhow. I'm gonna go into like the RedCat. These are available. These are the refreshed, remodeled RedCat Volcanoes Pros. So I'll kind of show a little bit of that at the very end of the video. But for now, let's jump right into this DR10. So this is gonna be, uh, again, I'll put links down in the description below. This vehicle will come out sometime this month as, as of September. So um, kind of keep that in mind too. But these are a pre-order. This thing should show a banner pre-order. So letting you guys know that. Now this comes in two different models as of right now, which would be with a LiPo and charger. And then also when it comes to just the ready to run where you're gonna still need a battery, you're gonna need a charger. But if you have that, then save yourself a little bit of money. 70 bucks saving your money go put that towards a good battery or whatever now uh, if you're already experienced with it and everything like that as far as drag racing like yo i really like this drag racing i really like to have a kit now they do offer a kit and if you already have your radio or you're looking to buy a radio receiver servo um electronic speed controller motor plus your battery and your charger then you can do something like that but if you're just getting into rc and you're like i really like this drag racing thing i'd really opt for you know, one of these where you just already get everything in one and then you can say, okay, well, now I want to get a better battery, I want to get a better charger, but at least get your feet wet, kind of get out there. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the one that just is an RTR. Now, these pictures do show with a battery in here. It does not come with a battery with the uh, ready to run at this price of $349.99. But I want to kind of show you that side profile. I do like this body, no matter the livery or whatever. The main thing is, it's got this a little bit more aerodynamic than the the other model. Um, at least that part of it, you know, it's got a little slope on it. It's got a bigger wing, kind of help that car track straight. I like that part of it. So I'm looking at the, the body as what it, it's got a little bit better benefit. Is it going to be any faster than the other one? I don't think so, but it might help with the car just going straight better. You never know. Um, now, I mean, these cars aren't super fast when they're straight out, straight out of the box. Anyway, you can kind of gear them up a little bit, and depending on where you go and what the club, if you're going to try and join a club or looking to get into a club, like a Wicked RC Club, we're on Facebook. Uh, you can check us out there. And uh, our club is, uh, you know, a lot of come, a lot of times people will come with these ready to runs, and they're like, hey, you know, hey, get your feet wet. Then you're like, hey, I want to put more power to this thing, and I'm like, all right. Things that you'd want to do to it anyway is go with belted tires and also, uh, you know, eventually go with a better electronics and motor when it comes to the motor and um, the speed controller. So, but again, you can start to gear it up, get your car going straight, then add that power to it. And then with, with that better electronics in there, as far as your motor and electronic speed controller, then start applying more power. Don't give it all the beans at once because then your car's gonna be all over the place. But if you just increase that power little by little, and you're gonna need to do that anytime you go to a different track. Same thing with the big guys. They have to adjust based on the track condition. So that's what you gotta do. This is like the real deal, just in a small scale. So just kind of keep that in mind. They're not always gonna go straight just because you tuned it one place and now it doesn't work somewhere else. It's just part of the nature of this is, you know, conditions what the tires will grip or not um belted tires i would definitely opt for belted tires over these just straight up rubber tires so if you're looking to put more performance definitely get belted tires like the pro line belted tires or so um, and there's other brands out there as well that carry a belted tire to get you going uh, so you don't have that deform and um one other thing too just kind of mental note is right in here usually these tires will balloon and rub your paint out so it'd be good if you put maybe some gorilla tape some kind of protect shoe goo whatever you want to put there but put it right in this area because that tire will rub on there and rub your paint right off uh granted man you're just starting out and even if you've been doing this for a long time expect the, the body to get scratched up it's going to flip over it's going to roll you know it's not going to look pretty for very long so just kind of keep that in mind but very cool. So this thing does come with a, um, does it come like a 60 amp electronic speed control, I believe is what it is, and a 3300 KV motor. Again, this kind of gets you going. Now this can run on a 2S or 3S LiPo. Um, like I said, the stock one that it comes 
with the uh, ready to run for the 419 will come with a 2S LiPo. But again, and this thing also has a gyro, which means it helps you go straight. And if you get into groups or clubs, whatever, this is not allowed as far as this gyro. This is something that you can turn off and what have you disable it so that way there's no extra, it's you driving is what it is. This is just a handicap. Kind of keep your car going straight, but after a while, uh, yeah, those groups won't allow you to run that gyro. Even our group, they're like no gyros. That's just standard uh, rules. But again, just having fun with this, enjoy it, you know, and that's what it's all about anyway. So don't overthink it, you know, just have fun with it. It is rear wheel drive too, so it's only the power of the rear. So there's nothing, it's not four wheel drive or nothing like that. But it's cool. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. So I'm going to go ahead. And uh, for instance, if you want to check this one out, uh, we do offer different payment options, like as far as Klarna goes, as you can see here. And what is that? Well, it shows you right here for interest free uh, payments of $87.49. So you can break this thing up. And what is that? What does it do? Like, okay, it's breaking it up into four. What is that? It's every, it's bi week. So every two weeks, you'll get hit with the charge, like on your credit card. Now, it's interest free from Klarna to be dropped on your card. Now, whatever your card's interest is, you wanna get that thing paid off right when that bill drops so you don't have any interest on it. But at least coming this way, you got two months and it's hitting your card every two weeks of that 87.49. Just kinda of let you know, you can check it all out. The Klarna has been around for a while now. It's been out for quite a few years, at least here in the States. Uh, it's been overseas for a longer, but uh, really good. But we do offer other ones as far as your normal stuff, your even Amazon Pay, Apple Pay, all that normal stuff. So, and you got PayPal. Hey, so um, plenty of different options on that one. So I want to let you guys know in regards to that one. Um, so because I did refresh this website, it's not this part of it. If you've been over to our website, omgrc.com, you'll know like, hey, this looks familiar here. But as far as the layout looks a little different, I noticed that, you know, you don't have your phone number here anymore. So let's go ahead and hop right back over there. Uh, here's These will work only for, you'll want to check this out, but coupon codes won't work for the Team Associated DR10. Anything a uh, Team Associated, uh, we can't do any kind of discounts on it, unfortunately. Sorry. That's just the rules of how they play. So if you scroll down, uh, you'll see like cars, trucks. It gives you a lot of different options that are here. These are basically the, the generic, we'll say, to kind of like, oh, I'm looking for an RC truck or car or something like that or battery chargers or whatever. You can kind of refine a little bit of this stuff when you're looking for, oh, I'm looking for a 10 scale, cool. Click on 10 scale, boom, and that's that. Or if you're looking for like ready to runs or kits or mini Zs, then uh, you kind of skip to those and get a little bit, get there a little bit quicker of what you're looking for. So this kind of helps you out a little bit on that one. Also, as far as the uh, search engine. So if you're looking for, let's say Red Cat, It'll start bringing up stuff that's Red Cat related. So until you narrow it down. So this might help a little bit with some of you guys. Uh, I like it. I like it when it has predictive search. So it's trying to help you a little bit. And you're like, oh, I see it. Okay, cool. Click on it. So you're not going to maybe spell the whole thing out. All right. And also we do static models, mean plastic models and all that. Got paints, got tools. And then, like I said, here's the DR10. So if you're looking for like DR10 in general, you can kind of browse over that. And then it's got more. And like I said, it, you can already kind of navigate and you can tell it by date, by high or low. I usually go like, oh, let's see what the most expensive is and then work our way down or vice versa. So that kind of helps on that part of it. Uh, this is one of the videos I did when I was doing the live video. So I kind of letting people know, I mean, like we're legit. So I've had someone say, are you guys legit? Like, yeah, we're legit. We've been in business for over four years now. So I'm pretty excited as far as that one goes. Uh, we do show op open hours. Uh, I mean, we're online, we're always open, right? But as far as contacting somebody, um, these may vary as far as Sunday and Saturday. I am the one that's running it, Joe, and that is me. There's my mug. So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much a one-man operation other than the help of with my wife sometimes, uh, mostly on the taxes. So uh, yeah, and other little sorts. So just to kind of let you know, it's just um, a little time out every once in a while is not a bad thing. Um, contact information is here instead of being up at the top where our logo was i just decided to move that down and if you have questions concerns comments anything like that in regards to any products that are on the website we'll do our best to answer them in a timely fashion but you can always enter in 
your information would give you a call or whatever. I prefer to call someone directly than going back and forth on emails, too time consuming. So there you go on that part of it. And then I just wanna let you guys know also would be that uh, the Red Cat stuff. So Red Cat does have the Volcano. They did a refresh on it. So as you can see here now that um, it's got a different um, layout to it you know, as far as the body goes. So I do like it. I like it better than the previous one. I like the way that that one looks. Um, these are, this is more of a high resolution and it's not capable of it. So at least you can kind of see them a little bit cleaner here as far as the pictures go. It is a nice looking truck. The only thing they really did to it, the things that I noticed would be like the motor is different looking. So now it's branded with Red Cat. It used to be like a blue motor. And you're like, I don't know what that is. And I imagine just a rebranded Hobby Wing electronic speed controller. No charger, no battery, nothing like that. Like it used to be for the same price. So as they say, battery and charger not included. Uh, but it just has the refreshed as far as uh, new rims on it. Tires look to be exactly the same. And then as far as that body goes, and like I said, that motor looks to be different. Um, that's pretty much it. But um, yeah, this main focus was just to uh, let you guys know in regards to what happened here. There we go. Um, even when you check out, so like let's say the pre-order, sorry, it's gonna be like kind of a little bit longer video is because I'm clicking on stuff and you gotta click on pre-order. So these things pop up, says pre-order, these are all pre-order. When you go to check out, it's gonna let you know like, hey, this is a pre-order and once it's available, it will be shipped. Just kind of let you know, it's the same thing with anything. Uh, a lot of stuff people have been asking me like, hey, when's uh, the USA ones from Kyosha coming? I send an email out, so definitely jump onto our email list. It's down at the very bottom, I'll go to that at the end here. Um, so just jump on there. Just let me, yeah, let me, you know, the thing is most of the time is that we get it from Kyosho. They say, Hey, this is when it's getting shipped. And that's all we got. You know, we get an email that says, Hey, it's going to be coming in. It's arriving to them. This on this day is the expected date that could vary. So just kind of let you guys know that these pre-orders are, are pre-orders and we don't know exactly always when they're going to come in and, so just kind of keep that in mind. And also when items come in, that they came into the United States typically through California. And we're in Florida. So there's going to be a little delay in regards to that one too. So when it comes to California, we're in Florida. So then things got to get shipped over to us. And then they get shipped out to our customers. So you got like a, usually like around a week, sometimes less. Sometimes Kyosho will send them even faster or they get to us faster than uh, the five days. So just kind of let you guys know in regards to that one, but I appreciate you guys watching as always. And before I leave, if you scroll down to the very bottom, um, subscribe to our newsletter. Now it's down at the very, very bottom. I had it at the very top, but yeah, click here and you can follow us on our Facebook and Instagram, you know, on YouTube as well, since that's where we post a lot of the videos. We post a little bit here and there on, on Instagram and Facebook or just other little things that I do on the side, like for instance, some drifting. Anyway, that is it. I appreciate you guys. If you stay to the very end, smash that thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing and definitely check us out at omgrc.com. Till next time, you guys take care. Peace.